Hi, my name is Dr. Jacob Hanai. I'm the Director of Inpatient Pharmacy, and I'll be talking to you about the application uh, package that you'll be putting together when applying to a pharmacy school of your choice. Uh, the application consists of four to five main components, uh, all of which are very important in the decision making uh, when the person is reviewing uh, your application for acceptance or to bring you in for an interview. There is a website that you would need to visit, farmcast.org, that's P-H-A-R-M-C-A-S dot org, that you would visit to uh, register to become an applicant and where you will be sending your generic application and all the necessary details that might go along with it to each specific school. Now, when I applied for pharmacy school, we used to sit down and type these on a typewriter. So times have changed and it's a lot easier because everything is electronic. What you will do is send your primary application through Farmcast and each school will have their specific uh, prerequisites in terms of your secondary application. So questions and uh, details and information that uh, might not be in the primary application but that the school will require. So besides the primary, the secondary application, then the next component that I believe is extremely important is the personal statement. The personal statement is basically your chance to let the reader know why they should accept you to their pharmacy school. Now, whether it's some sort of uh, experience you've had along the way or the fact that you've always wanted to be a pharmacist, uh, you will have that chance in the personal statement to let the reader know uh, why you and not the next applicant. Um, the third would be a resume. A very strong resume, uh, in fact, uh, is necessary for you to be considered because they will look at um, what you have done in the community, what you have done uh, to prepare yourself for that particular career, what you've done in your schooling, your GPAs, your extracurricular, so on and so forth. Um, the final component will be the letters of recommendations that you will have to submit from your different uh, professors and or pharmacists. Each school will be different uh, in terms of uh, what they will require. Some schools will require that you send one from each a pharmacist and a uh, professor that you've had in your undergraduate work. Other schools will leave it up to you and tell you that they need two and or three uh, letters of recommendations and in those cases I recommend you do send one from a professional who's a pharmacist and one from an educator who's one of your professors that you've had a course with in the past. Now, one of the most important things obviously is uh, getting yourself ready for the interview and having someone as a consultant who's going to review your package before you actually apply it. Uh, there are many consultants out there that will do this, uh, basically sit down with you, review your resume, your letters of recommendations, your personal statements, your application, so on and so forth. So basically the uh, different components that you will need as a package are uh, your letters of recommendations, your application, your personal statement, your resume, as well as preparing yourself for the interview for the final stage after your application has been reviewed. And in order to have a strong package, what you would need to do, in my opinion, my recommendation is to talk to someone who does this for a living, who is a consultant and can direct you in terms of um, making changes in your resume, your personal statement, your application, because they know what the different schools might be looking or not be looking for. Again, my name is Dr. Jacob Hanai. If you have any specific questions or if you would like consulting with regards to your application, uh, if you'd like someone to review your application, your resume, your personal statements, and so on, send an email to californiapharmacy at gmail.com. And uh, you could also click on the following links in order to learn more about how to get accepted to a pharmacy. Thank you.